There was a promise God made to Abraham. God said unto Abraham, Your children, children in coming will go into a strange land. And they will stay in that strange land under severe torture until 400 years, and I will deliver them. God gave that promise that at 400 years, he will deliver them. And it became a covenant between him and Abraham. When the 400 years came, Bible said God rose up Moses. God rose up Moses. And Moses became of age. And the Bible said, because God promised to deliver them in 400 years time, Israel in captivity got to that 400 years and God actually came. He rose and stirred up the spirit of Moses to go in the camp of Israel to begin the mandate of the deliverance. The prophecy started working. But Bible says, when Moses went to the camp of Israel, he saw an Egyptian man beating a Hebrew. Bible said he killed the Egyptian man and buried him in the sand because that was his mandate. That the Lord had begun the prophecy. The Lord has started the work in Moses. Moses went out and killed the Egyptian and delivered the Israel according to the promise God made to Abraham. Yes, 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 yes. Allah Bible says the following day, Moses came back again because the prophecy had become a reality. But this time around, he found a, a Hebrew man fighting his fellow brother. Bible says Moses separated the two and cautioned them and said, Why do you fight yourselves? And Bible said, One Hebrew man said unto him, Who made you the judge? Who made you a deliverer? Would you want to kill me like you killed the man of Egyptian yesterday? Bible said, The moment Moses had it, he ran away from Egypt. Do you know what happened? Moses ran to Midian and stayed for 30 years. The Lord promised to deliver Israel for 400 years. But because their eyes was closed, but because they became spiritual blind to identify their helper, because they never knew that Moses was indeed a judge and a deliverer. But they said unto him, Who made you our judge? Who made you our deliverer? And they exposed him and he ran away and stayed for 30 years in Midian. The more he stayed in Midian, the more they lingered in their chairs. They stayed for 430 years because of spiritual blindness. If they had known that Moses was their deliverer, they would not have pursued him and the Lord would have delivered them in the 400 years expiration. Many people as we are today, because of spiritual blindness, have chased away their husband. Many people have chased away their destiny helpers because he didn't come like a soldier, but because he didn't come like a mighty man, he just came just like that. And they asked him, Are you sure you are that one? Or should we expect somebody else? And the person left him. And the moment the man left them, they remained in penury, they remained in trouble, they remained in sickness because their eyes were closed to identify their help. Israel stayed for 30 years more in Egypt because they do not know the timing. They do not recognize the prophecy when it came. 400 years God came in Moses and they pursued him by threatening him. They asked him, who made you our savior? Who made you the judge? Because they did not know the prophecy that was working. But after 30 years more, Bible said God made that same Moses. When he was feeding the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, and God said, don't worry. Though they chase you away, but this time around, I have heard their cry again. I will send you again. I am here today by the mandate I carry, by the pressure of the grace of God in my life, by the presence of the prophetic to prophesy in your life. You may have missed it before, but you can still get it again. You may have lost it before. You may have thrown it away before through your ignorance of the spiritual timing because you couldn't recognize the prophecy in your life and you chased away your family helper. You chased away the man that will train you to the last drop because you do not know. You ask him a question. You ask him, are you my deliverer? Are you my husband? Are you my wife? And then the person out of anger left you in penury. And as much as he stays outside, you remain in that danger. You remain single. You remain helpless. But I pray this day, wherever your helpers are, Hey, wherever they are located by this anointing, let the Lord send them back to you. Let God send them back to you. If He can send Moses back to Israel, though they were ignorant of the first encounter, and He still have second chance on them, the God of second chance. God bless you. My name is Prona Onyeka. Oh, Onyeka.